Now, what is integration by parts all about? Well, I like to remember it using the product rule. So if I go and open up a palette, basic math assistant, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just putting in a fraction. Whoops, I didn't want it there. I want to go into a new cell, put it right here. Okay, now that I have that, remember the product rule for differentiating. So that says that the derivative of the product of u times v with respect to x is equal to v times the derivative of u with respect to x. So I'll just put a u at the top plus the other way around u times dv on dx. All right, now this is the product rule. So let's comment that the top product rule for differentiation. Okay, now I just want to do a little bit of algebra on this to show you how you get the formula for integration by parts. Okay, so I'll copy this and then I'll uh, subtract this one from both sides, as in u times dv on dx will subtract this from both sides of the equation. So it vanishes on the right hand side and we subtract it on the left. Okay, so this here says that v du on dx is equal to the derivative of the product of u and v with respect to x minus u dv on dx. Okay, now what we want to do is get rid of the dx's in the bottom. All right, these are acting like fractions even though they are not fractions, but it helps us remember the rules for integration by parts. So copy this and then below that, so I'm getting rid of the dx's now as if I were to just multiply throughout by dx, even though that's not um, what we're doing because these are derivatives, not fractions. They just act like fractions to help us remember the rules. Okay, now uh, this rule says that we are permitted to replace v du in an integral just like this one with uh, the integral of 1 with respect to uv and then minus the integral of u with respect to v. Okay, so let's have a look at that, how that works in this exact integral. So we'll copy this and we'll say, uh, well, let's just write some more information in comment. To integrate this with integration by parts. And the comment, we let u be equal to x and v be equal to e to the power of x. Okay, now that you've set that out, uh, we can just say that we're going to replace Is that the way we wanted it? Look, let's do this the other way around. So we'll call vx and u e to the x. And then we don't have to do any further rearranging with this formula, it just works. Okay, so um, given that we're doing that, we then have the integral that we're aiming to calculate by parts is equal to now, what are we doing? We have to copy this, paste that there. So just this part of it. And then we subtract the integral of the other one. So we uh, then have e to the x as the u, and then with respect to x. Okay, let's put a bracket around this x e to the x. Okay, now this says 
that this integral here can be calculated by integrating each of these and taking their difference. So just use this rule right here, integration by parts. Okay, so now this you can think of as another letter. Let's call it y if you like. All right, so the integral of 1 with respect to y is y. So that means that I can calculate this first integral on the left as simply x e to the x. Okay, and then we subtract the integral of e to the x with respect to x. That's a really easy integral. It's just e to the x. So let's copy this and simplify a little bit more. So this integral we set is e to the x. And now that we are done integrating, we add plus c to say that, uh, well, any constant there would satisfy this equation. So if we differentiate this function here on the right-hand side with respect to x, well, what we get is x e to the x. Okay, now we can do one little piece of simplifying which is to factorize e to the x from this expression. Okay, when we do that, uh, we will have x minus 1 in, in brackets. So x minus 1 times e to the x and then plus c is the answer to this integral by parts. Now, this is a Mathematica tut tutorial and what I have shown you is how to calculate this integral by hand. Okay, I'm in a Mathematica notebook. I've just shown you how to calculate this by hand. Now, how do you check your work using Mathematica's uh, built-in function? So I'll show you that now. But we want to turn this into a comment, what we've just done, because it's not really um, appropriate for calculating you in the way that we've set it out. Okay. All right, now the command to, to integrate this would be to just write integrate. Okay, and then I'll write x and then times, and I can put exp x to mean e to the x. And then I say I want to integrate this with respect to x. This is not the only way that you can enter this into the computer to calculate this. Um, but it's one way. So let's press shift enter and see what we get. Okay, it says e to the x times minus 1 plus x. Now that is exactly the same as x minus 1 all times e to the x. But you notice that it does not include the plus c. All right? If you want to be correct, well, you add the plus c. And of course, we all want to be correct. So you should add plus c when you do this by hand. This just says that this is one antiderivative of this function. Okay, next I want to show you a way that you might like to enter this if you don't like to write it out in words like I do. So we'll open up the palettes, basic math assistant, move it over so I can show you. And uh, down here at the bottom left, we have a button that shows this integral sign. I'm going to click it. And it's put us there, so I'll move it down to the next line. And then I can enter here in the empty box, x, and then I'll put space. And then I should have a button up here for e, but first of all, I'll press the power button. Ah, uh, well, that takes x to the power of something, but I want, I want e to the power of x. So now I'll press the e button for the base of the natural logarithm, and then I'll replace that x times that there. And then finally, I'll enter x in the box for what I'm integrating with respect to. Okay, and I'll close the palette. Now this is just the fancy way to enter that. If you want it to look like mathematics and enter it in that way, Mathematica allows you to do that. Okay, but after a little while, once you get the hang of what you're doing, it's probably easier to write it in this first way. Write out integrate and exp and so on. All right, shift enter and uh, you see we get the same result. Okay, well that's all I have to show you for now. I hope you learned something from this and 
tune into my other videos to see more videos like this. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.